Hey everyone, in this video we're branching out. I'll get to the root of the subject. We're talking about trees. So I think trees are an important part of any war gaming collection and any war games table. You use them for a lot of different battles, a lot of different scenarios, a lot of different climates. Uh, and they're pretty fortunate you can use them in all different kinds of scales here. You can see I've got some, uh, what are those, 10 to 15 minute, uh, mil Flames of War guys. I've got a 28 mil uh, Warlord Games Mini there. And they all look kind of, the, you know, they all seem to work within this scale. Um, and I've over the years, I've been using uh, woodland scenic trees. Easy to get a hold of. Pretty cheap all things considered. Um, they look good, but they don't last a whole long time. I find myself every few years having to buy them again, fluff them all out, build them from scratch, or just buy them all over. So, uh, you know, that spongy look, it looks cool, but they don't last a whole long time. Um, and certainly the wear and tear of, uh, of the battle. But I was able to get a new package uh, from a company in England uh, in, in Dorset, uh, called k &M Trees. Uh, I had a couple of these uh, when I was a kid, just, I mean, more really just to play with toy soldiers, um, but I thought I'd splash out and get some uh, uh, sent over here to the U.S., um, so I thought I'd shoot a quick unboxing video and see what we've got. All right, so we really are doing this for real. Um, a lot of tape on here, uh, but I was amazed actually how quickly they came. I only ordered them last week. Uh, so we'll see what they look like. I ordered a range of colors, a range of sizes, um, and I, it was a pretty intuitive website. I'll throw it up in the notes um, if you want to go take a look. Uh, and um, let's, let's get in here. They were very... Uh, Friendly to work with over email, figuring out all the shipping rates and etc. etc. Um, and my goal was to have some trees that would really last a long time. I can already see some of the uh, the flock residue, as it were, pouring over. Oh, cool! All right, um, lovely. So here you can already see the kinds of uh, the kinds of trees that I bought. Look at those. Um, I love this kind of sturdy, it's a little abstract, the look, um, but I think they're really cool. So, here's one pack. It's an individual. This box is absolutely jam-packed with tree goodness. Um, pop one of these out here. It's one of the bigger ones, kind of separate. Oh, I'm sure there's a more efficient way I could be doing this, or a delicate way. Um, so yeah, you can see, that's the kind of look that I I, I love um, on the table. And they've got these, uh, these wire bases, um, or, or trunks, or stalks. Um, and I did order, oh yep, here we go, the, um, the bases to go with those. So, little project here to um to sort all of those out i got you there there's a lot of flock that's come off of these um again more of the same won't bore you unpacking all of them uh ooh, this one's cool this is uh they do different um trees in different seasons uh they they did have kind of autumnal or fall ones um but i also got these nice ones in uh they're in blossom not it's not it does look a little snowy maybe um but uh but i think that's really neat so ooh, another pack of more bases wow they, they really did an amazing job of packing all of these um each one is very carefully put together um and uh oh what kind of we got here this looks like it's well it might be a little bit bent um let's see. Ooh, yeah, is a, the the wires a little bent on this one, but I think we can. Uh, oh yeah, they 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 bend quite easily back into shape. Um, yeah, they, they, I believe uh, each each tree is handmade, and I and I can't believe it because uh, there's obviously a lot of care and attention to to detail that's gone into these. Um, 
Wow, I never thought I'd get this excited about trees, but I think I've uh, finally found the, the perfect set. These are all different, and uh, I think I spent just shy of 200 bucks on these. Uh, and then with the shipping, this, you know, this one looks even bigger. Um, let's try to get this open. Oh, yep, another big uh, blossoming one. I think it's bigger than the other ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, geez, this is huge. Um, look at that. Uh, again, sort of need a little shaping there. Um, and, yep. Yeah, oh, wait, they're, they're uh, for what it's worth. They're twice the size. That one was like twice the size of the uh, Woodland Scenics one that I had out. So, yep, yeah, more and more of these. Going to have to make some, uh, what's the word? terrain basing for these to sit in. So, uh, and then the last packs I got were uh, this pack, of, this is a pack of four, and another pack of four. Um, so definitely got, at least, are these the same? I can't remember, DG500, yep, they're the same. Um, so lots of here, lots of uh, foliage goodness to be working with, more of those, wow. So, uh, <laughs> Quite the uh, quite the assortment that I've got here. I'll uh, I'll get them all unpacked, put them all on their bases, and we'll take a look at what they what they look like on the table. And here we go. So uh, after shaking off all of the excess block and attaching the the bases to the trunks, they uh, they look great. I think um, you can see here for scale. There's my twenty eight millimeter. Mini and the Plains of War scale mini. So overall, I, I'm I'm very happy with these. There's there's definitely enough of them um, to to cover a table, and I do have a couple of, of excess ones here. I'm going to create or add some kind of basis to them. Uh, and uh, while I think they do have a sort of a different, more kind of uniform aesthetic, I, I wouldn't put these on a model railroad train set or something like that, but I think for wargaming, they really work. They, they remind me of um, the trees I used to see in the old White Dwarf magazines and things like that uh, when I was a kid. So really glad to, to have these. And the cool thing I discovered is the, uh, the Woodland Scenics trees, I think, really blend in pretty well. So rather than replacing, I think I've just gained more trees. Uh, but I am gonna create some kind of base or area terrain to put underneath these um, and probably will attach the bases as they tend to, to fall down and go down like dominoes. But uh, I think they look great uh, and I'm excited to start putting these on the table for my next four game. Thanks for watching.